decided to go out, although the local authorities are strongly recommending not to go out at all. Uh, I have no idea what I'm going to find out outside here. This is just the, the inside of the portal of the block where I live. And uh, I just want to show you how I am dressed in here, like if I'm going to the North Pole, right? Also, I have my jacket hood in here because it's snowing outside, is it? Yeah, it is snowing. So, if, um, if anyone is uh, just watching, would you please uh, give me a thumbs up or okay? Hello, Francisco. Yeah. <laughs> Good to see you. Is the sound okay? <clears throat> I will, uh, I'm not wearing a microphone because I've got uh, enough things hanging off me and I'm dressed like an onion in here. Hello Lisa, good morning, Hello, good afternoon now. And uh, I'm just going to show you, I have no idea what I'm going to find out here. I saw from my window uh, that there are some trees that are falling in the gardens around the block where I live. And uh, uh, let's go out and see, okay? So, here we go. All right. Uh, okay, wait a minute. Look at this. I have never, never, I don't want my phone getting wet. And, uh, oh, yes, please do, just do apologize in advance for any kind of, uh, uh, whatever happens, but I need to keep an eye on the umbrella. Also, where I'm stepping at the same time, <laughs> look at all this. Look, this is just crazy. Oh my God. <laughs> Some of you, especially those who live in the central states in the United States uh, or Central Europe, might say, ha oh, ha. Oh. Yeah, but we are not used to this at all. You know, just people are just walking in the middle of the street, so am I. And down there, where the light is, I don't know if you can see the traffic light, uh, it's barely like about 100 meters away from me. But I have no idea if I'm gonna be able to get to that point. I need to keep an eye on where I'm stepping at the same time. Oh, it's been snowing constantly, like, I mean, heavier. Now it's very light, the way it's snowing for the last, uh, 24 hours. You know, I mean, we're not used to that. I'm just telling you, I forgot to cover my face. So now it's covered with my oh, mask. Oh, my goodness. Where is he going with the. ¿Dónde vas con el monopatín, chaval? No me jodas, de verdad. Qué bueno. Pues muchas gracias. Venga. Okay, I just asked him where he was he going with that uh, roller that he had, and he said that the in a highway that is uh, not far away from here, like a quarter of a mile, uh, because the traffic is not allowed, he could skate, you know, with a skateboard. That's what I asked him. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Look at the doggy over there having fun. Oh my god! No, no cars, Francisco. No cars at all. I mean, no buses, no public service. Uh, yep. And uh, the belt roads of Madrid, uh, which are the called the M30. M stands for uh, for Madrid, obviously. M30, 40, 45, and 50. All of them are closed to traffic, and trucks are not allowed to drive through. Uh, at least until Monday. So, there you see. Oh my goodness, I seriously, I have to tell you that I can't believe this and look at all this. Oh wow, look at this, those trees just, just uh, fell. I'm just here with a friend Luis. Mira las de árboles ahí, ahí, que se han caído. I'm just here with a neighbor that he decided to come with me. So look at that. Uh, okay, wait a minute. Yeah. All right. Look at how many trees are falling because of the weight. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Oh 
my God. Uh, well, then I'm just trying to get over there. If you're able to see me, I just look like a robot walking here. Uh, I don't have uh, any um, proper shoes for this kind of walking. So what I did is my biggest shoe that I had with the thickest uh, sole. That's what I'm wearing now. But uh, I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't even know if I'm gonna get down there, or, which is in, in normal circumstances, it's like about uh, uh, one minute and a half from my home. But now, look at this. Celsius minus three, and the predictions are saying that in uh, tomorrow it's going to be not snowing, no rain either. But for Monday, Monday we're having a like a kind of a vortex, polar vortex coming over from North Atlantic. Temperatures might drop down in this area, down to 15. Celsius, minus 15 Celsius. Ah. So, as you see, I'm not the only one that. Uh, I'm not the thing. Okay, it sounds strange. Probably it's because of my mask, face mask. Oh, I see there is some water on my phone. But anyway. Uh, Look, I'm not the only one that had the idea to come over and see. ¿Ves, Luis? Te dije que no íbamos a ser los únicos. Oh, my goodness. Wait a minute. No, si ha dicho el chico este que estaba... que no había tráfico, estaba patinando. My friend just said we want to go to the... to see how the highway is. It's not far from here. But I just want to show you the symbol of my neighborhood, which is the dragon. Look at the dragon. Look at the dragon. Okay. You see the dragon over there? Okay, that dragon is a symbol of my neighborhood. All right? And that dragon. Uh, thank you, Lisa. <laughs> Have a good lunch. <laughs> but the dragon, uh, the thing is that it's a symbol of the neighborhood because it appeared in the very first season, in the very early 70s, on uh, Sesame Street, Spanish Sesame Street. So this is the main avenue. And instead of, oops, oh my goodness, I nearly fell. All right. So look at the avenue, the way it is over here. Now, we are dressed more or less the same. Where is my... Oh, Luis! <laughs> you said you want to go to the, the road? Decía que queremos ir a la M30. Bueno, tú quieres ir a la M30. He wants to go to the M30. I, I'm going to give it a try. Look at this. Oh, my God. So, uh, if anyone is, uh, could, be, could be so kind to tell me the sound is a little bit better now. <laughs> and the traffic lights are working. How funny. No traffic, but yeah, traffic lights. Good. <laughs> okay, it's a bit icy here, so I need to be careful. Because what I don't want now is a broken leg. Oh my goodness. And this, seriously, this has just happened only in 24 hours. I know that uh, you might sound like, uh, I might sound like uh, if I'm saying, oh, well, you know, this is nothing for what we used to have here. But I insist, we, we are not used to that. Well, what can I say? This is a 
little known program adventure it was just about an hour ago. Talking to my friend Francisco. That's uh him how everything was outside and he said why don't you go out and make a light I said, what <laughs> but actually it was a very good idea so Francisco Gladia thank you for that <sighs> all right there are people taking photos yes look at the number of trees that have fallen over there and trying to cover my I promise you that this is a road, okay? This is a, a road. We got a kid here. But obviously. <laughs> oh my. Just uh, at this uh, speed I'm going now, I believe that probably in five minutes we will be over the highway <laughs> but oh god the snow is getting deeper oh, no not snow me in the snow is getting deeper and deeper so, huh? hello charlie <laughs> yeah it is incredible isn't it Look at all this. <coughs> no traffic, no public services, only some underground lines are working. Uh, ground system is totally paralyzed, the airport is closed, no flights allowed. Most of the long distance trains are also not working. It's kind of crazy. Oh my. Sorry, sometimes I just uh, stay quiet. It's a double meaning, which is just to let you enjoy the view. Well, the view, I mean, my walk, <laughs> if you want to enjoy it. And also, is that some, uh, I need to keep an eye on where I'm stepping. You see? Because, as I said, it's a little bit icy. And my shoes that I'm wearing, only because I don't have snowshoes. Oh, I can see the highway already, and it's, uh, it's totally covered in snow. There is no traffic at all. Away from there. Oh, this is getting a little bit harder here because it's very slippery where I am now. I'm just going to. Okay, I believe I'm again live. Well, I believe I'm again live. I was saying so if there's anyone over there that could tell me that you can see something thumbs up or something like that okay yes, my friend is saying telling me that there is a path to getting here gracias Luis oh, oh, oh this is slippery uh, Oh, but I can't, I can't jump that. <sighs> okay, so look at the M30. Okay, para, para qué? Para que lo hagas más fácil. 
para saltar para allá? No, no, no salte. Ah, no, 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 salta. Gracias. Ok, sorry, just uh, my friend wanted to give me a hand, but uh, I think let's I'm doing go, let's go, fine. Let's go. Thank you, friend. Thank you. So, look at the highway. There's a very brave man over there with the truck. I don't know, but it's maintenance of the M30. Uh, and look at the highway. There's some little traffic coming. Uh, mira, Luis, hay algún tráfico ahí que viene. But I think, I mean, uh, the, the authorities have been. Uh, this is the M30. Yeah, fine. This is the M30. And uh, the authorities have been warning us for the last week, saying that we were going to have the biggest storm, snowstorm ever. And even like that, people even there to get their cars when we're not absolutely prepared for that and get inside the streets. I believe there is a lot of, uh, you know, irresponsible people in the world. What can I tell you about that? You know, but I think it's uh, like committing suicide to get into one of these cars. We don't have uh, tires for snow. I mean, they sell them, but we don't use them because we have never had. Oh, I'm just noticing here. Look, with the point of my umbrella here, I'm pointing right there that there are some cars that they've been stuck and uh, not abandoned, but uh, just left there. Because in the news last night, they were saying that all these dirt roads, they were just uh, people stuck in, in here. Look at this. I've never this, seen this in my entire life. Here in Madrid. Okay. I've seen it somewhere, somewhere else. Okay, I've just been warned that there's some ice in here, so I need to be very careful. This uh, tire we see over here, for those, if any of you from Northwest Pacific sees me, you're going to say it's very, it's kind of look like uh, the, uh, uh, the, oh my goodness, I just forgot the name, the, Space Needle, right? The same as in Toronto or in Sydney. Now they have similar things. This was uh, this one was inaugurated in 1980, early 1982, because that year in Spain we hosted the World Soccer Cup. For those uh, of you from the side of the Atlantic, you know that football in Europe is called soccer. Uh, sorry, football. <laughs> what you call soccer is called football here. Yeah. So this is just a few minutes away from, from where I live. The altitude, the height, so that is 187 meters. And, uh, okay, there you go. Another panel from here. Oh, my goodness, it's just absolutely crazy. I'm going to try and get that. If I can see or I can show you something. This, what you see over there, down there, where I'm pointing with my umbrella, is a continuation of the highway, EM30, but there's no traffic, as you see over there. And uh, just to prove you the amount of snow in here, look down there and look at my leg, how deep it goes. There you go, it's like half a meter. Okay, guys. Well, broadcasting from Madrid, snowy Madrid, white Madrid. This is going to be published in my Facebook and uh, my YouTube as well. Traveling with Jorge, remember? Uh, same name. And uh, a little intro also on Instagram under the same name. All traveling with Jorge. Thank you for watching. Share, you know, like. That would be, you know, fantastic. And Francisco, thank you so much for watching. All right. Bye-bye, chicos. Adios. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can press the finish button. Bye. This is an addition I will make later. Look at the buses already stuck in there. City buses. I guess they're over there from last night.
And uh, one brave man here with traffic. No, in the highway, another one. Those two nuts. <laughs> Take it into her side 